had mentioned to me. So, I will invite Gabby Boko to please offer some words. Thank you. Okay, Gabe, could you, could you unmute yourself? Yeah, I, okay. I, I think oh, I'm, I'm, and we can hear you now too. Go ahead. Okay, good. Loud and clear too. It's good. Okay. Well, first of all, let me thank this very um, visible class of 72. Mm -hmm. uh, you 72 of your fallopian tube, the way you are referred to. In the history of our school, Government College of Moya, especially the post-Civil War era, we had the Expo 70. Then came our class, 71. But I must say that in our rich history of Omoahia, there's something particular about these three classes from 70 to 70, through 71 to 72. But among these three, I think the most pivotal has been class of 72. And um, we really appreciate you, all of you, because um, when the class of 70, which we are 71, were emulating, a lot of innovations, like when I was telling someone a few days ago, I mean, uh, sometime earlier this year, that as far back as Government College Omwaya, we had campaign structure the way it is. I don't know whether any of you can remember. You had, whether it was uh, for the posts, like Fifth Form Social Club, editor of uh, Resta, you had a period you could campaign up to when campaign would stop, you were allowed to print posters around that. That was when, like uh, someone mentioned earlier, that was when Azu met me in Mwaya News Agency. And we had people like Kasmi Okoro, Ugochuku Okarafo. I got into Omoahia a week earlier than when we were supposed to, because we were supposed to get in January 21, Thursday. But because Gowon was visiting East Central State and three schools had been slated, Government College Omoahia, Queen School Enugu, and Government Secondary School Afiko that was operating out of Enugu at the time. But the main attraction was Government College Omoahia because Gowon wanted to see the cadet system. The rest is history of what the products of that cadet system did in uh, sustaining the war. So we got in a week earlier, 14th of January, Thursday, 1971, and I met Chika Emuche, who is my classmate. Not until the next year did the younger brother also join. But because of our culture, you are not encouraged to over-familiarize with your juniors. So Azu was a little distant from me. But events now made Azu become as close as we were up till even the event Billy Okoye that spoke not long ago, which was on the 14th of February, where Azu and I spent over three hours together. And that was the last week. And that was a Valentine's Day, Friday, 14th of February. But quickly, in 1972, Azu came into Government College of Moya. Like someone said earlier, by privilege, he was the fag of a very spectacular school captain, Zewo Koroja, in line with notable school captains that House Cousins had produced, like Tim Morgan Ukebu, Dan Ejiofor uh, 4 that came, and then uh, I think Boyce Agungwa, and another person, uh, Okafo uh, Chokos. When Azu took over from Brigade in Joko, not just as representative of Cousins House, in the kitchen, they became the school rep. A notable principal of ours, a revered principal, Esau Ogazi, Samuel Onochi Ogazi, had created special positions of captainship level and actually made dining hall captain third in command after the school captain and assistant school captain, then there came dining hall captain. And the first dining hall captain was Bo Noti. Bo returned as Zoe Muche. And then appointed me dining hall monitor. I now was to work with Azu and SK Carlo. SK was in charge of kitchen. Azu was in charge of pantry. Pantry was where the food was assembled and shared and the various house reps, mainly the monsters, will come and carry their house food. If Azu did not clear you, you will not get the food. So Bonoti created a, another position, 
dining hall monitorship, which was cleanliness. So there I was working with Azul, uh, SK Carlo, and then one Mr. Ben uh, staff. When uh, the, I think it was Godwin that said um, what Azul uh, stood for, it is typical of the AMUCHES. And I will now delve from Omoaya to the family. Event of August 4, 1972, which was the demise of a legendary educationist, Nathan Okeome Jogu, had passed on on that Friday that the announcement was made in East Central State um, Airwaves. And Dr. D. K. Muche was uprooted by Ajie Okwabi Aseka from his Azumini, where he had established a cottage hospital as the first indigenous uh, 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 proprietor to own a hospital in 1960 or 61. He came over to Enugu. The relationship between we and the Emuches now stopped being of schoolmates to family because my father was eventually appointed to work with Dr. Emuche in the Civil Service Commission. Shortly after Emu State was created, we all moved to Were. We became closer. At my father's demise, Dr. D. K. Emuche represented Navy Captain Adekule Lawal, the governor and was at the head of the government delegation at the funeral of my father in 1977. Subsequently, every other event at Azumini, I led the, not only the Bokos, the Aru delegation. Somehow in 1981, I remember August 5, we were Dr. Emuche's birthday, which was, I think, either his 62nd birthday, I spoke and had the opportunity to now thank him for the representation. 2K, who is also like a brother, came into the limelight. And even the wife, two kids married today, was as a result of whatever brought all of us together with the creation of Imo State in 76. And like Chijo Kebizia said, all of us were living in Shell Camp. Azu has had that ethos, that character, while Chika was the model, after the father, the pathfinder, Azu was a stabilizing factor in the middle. OK, of course, is more of an extrovert. People have been giving testimonies. OK is not and will not be the last consul general or ambassador in Nigeria, but OK was one of the most popular, if not the most visible in the foreign service at the time he was there. Every person either wanted to go to Angola while OK was in Angola or go to Johannesburg while OK was in South Africa and, or Europe. So. 2K celebrated 50 years of his parents' demise, dedicated a church, as okay, all of us were there at Azuokia. But just February this year, at the church of Sabili at uh, Okoye's father-in-law, Azu saw me in the church, came over to me. From the church to the reception, we spent over three hours. I didn't know that that's how life. When this thing occurred on the 6th of August, that Thursday morning, Okay, was one of the few people that called me immediately. I mean, I called immediately and started telling me what happened. As rude as a shock it has been to all of us, the only thing I just would say, you know, in the words of the legendary American uh, author who lost her sight and hearing at the age of 19 months, she said, what we have once enjoyed we can never lose. All that we love deeply becomes a part of us. So, Azu, in the light of our motto in Unum Lukayant, we shall forever shine as one, both in death and in life. Class of 72 on Philippian 2, people have done so nobly well. I thank you all. May God bless all of us. Amen. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.